afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Texas Rangers. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Soft grounder left side. And the day begins with an out. There's one away. In now is Adam Eaton. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He has seven hits in 34 tries. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Chopped up the line to first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Kluber has logged upwards of 1,400 innings pitched so far in his career. And through the... And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Batting third. The second baseman. To the plate Howie. now. Howie Kendrick. There goes the runner. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play. So that'll move the count to two and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. On the ground to the right side. And Kendrick has a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting four. The left fielder, number 22. One. Into the box, Juan Soto. In there, one and two now. able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one another one two delivery nope. to two balls and two strikes now two swing and a miss at the curveball and there's your second out of the inning so it's first and second with two men gone and in steps the lefty power threat Eric Thames One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking at his career totals, Thames has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. Lays off the one-two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The catcher, At the plate now, Kurt Suzuki hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now Andrus with a swing and a deep drive to left. And no one will track it down. The one two. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Thames moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Up next for the Rangers, Matt Duffy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a miss got him reaching. So striding in, Willie Calhoun, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Calhoun. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. 
Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup cool. hitter, Joey Gallo. He'll get to take his first Joey. cuts here. Gallo. The 2-2. Two -two. This is line to left. Soto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning. Striding in now for the Nats, Starlin Castro. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Chu. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring in the switch hitting former All-Star is Drupal Cabrera. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Oh, it looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Here now the 2-2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Danny Santana is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And in the left field for a one-out hit. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. In the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. He pulls this one into right. Thames is there. Two down. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. From the stretch, the one-two. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Back to the top of the order now, and into bat is Trey Turner. Good curveball there, gets the swing and miss. Chopper to third. Fouled away. The next three, two. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Adam Eaton digging in next. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Three and two now. 
Working for the punch out and the offering. Lifted the other way to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And the runner from second is in to score. Now that the second base. In now, Howie Kendrick. Three and one to Howie Kendrick. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. And now for Washington, Juan Soto. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2 2. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Stepping up to the plate, Eric Thames. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Inner third let go, it's a called strike. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Throw not in time to get him, and how about that? An unlikely infield single. The catcher, number 28, Kurt Suzuki. Stepping in now, Kurt Suzuki. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Into the box now, Starlin Castro. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hops this one up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. The third base into the box as Dribble Cabrera. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Now batting. The first base Ryan. So now to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman on the ground. And oh, this is off the second base bag. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. Colby Allard is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. At the plate now, Trey Turner hit to third. Little pitch and catch chance for Odor at second base, and that'll do it. Bottom of the third now. So next to the plate for Texas, Rugnet Odor. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The one two. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And this is going to find the wall out near the 404 sign. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The batter, number one, Elvis. 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 Standing in now, Elvis Andrews. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that's through for a base hit. Odor rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores, and they're on the board. It's six to one. The 
At the plate, Matt Duffy. A ball and two strikes now. Andres on at first, nobody out. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. The 2-2. Two, Too -two. high, ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Heading out towards shallow right. Thames will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And here's the former prize Dodger Willie. prospect Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now back, left fielder, Joey Gallo. To the plate now, Joey Gallo. Two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. On to first, and there were two down. Striding in, Danny Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. Two and two the count. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. He stays alive, still two and two. Runners at second and third with two gone. Now here's a ball heading for the right field corner. This has the distance, and it stays fair. Home run. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run, but it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three-run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Into the box now, Shin Su Chu. Chu Chu pitches a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Yep. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Digging in and looking for more, Adam Eaton, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Three and two, full count. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. There's ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that will bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. The 1-1 home, taken, strike two. Slowly hit to first, I don't think they can get two. Andrus, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Ready once again, Eric Thames. Already two for two. We we'll look to add on right here. Very high, two and one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Three and one to him now. 
And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Stepping into the box, Kurt Suzuki. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Count remains full. Pitch saws him off as this one's lifted in the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So digging in now, Ronald Guzman. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. Now better. In now, Robinson Chirinos Robinson. looking to put the ball Chirinos. in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Four runs, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Fouled off. Now a swing and a foul tip, but it's held on to by Suzuki. A nice job there as they record the strikeout. The second baseman. Here's Rogan okay. Odor now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches. You'll... And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Next will be the designated hitter, Starlin Castro. He's one for two in the ballgame. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. On the move is Chu. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The third baseman, number 13. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Fastball too high, ball four. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Now battle. The first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. The one two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Ready with the two and two. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Drives it out to deep right center field. Santana is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Here now is Trey Turner. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Full count now, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder coming on. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Austin Voss, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 50. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Down the first baseline. 
And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The third baseman. Digging in now, Matt Duffy. No hits to this point. The 2-1. Willie Calhoun will be next. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. A designated hitter, number five, Willie Calhoun. Three and two to the Rangers' designated hitter. Two out, nobody on. Hold high in the air out to right field. Thames will wait on it. And that will retire the side. Riding in once again, Adam Eaton. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. The 3 1 is going to be a drag bunt. He gets it down. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's Howie Kendrick, a hit in two tries so far. Howie Kendrick. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Andrews fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. Juan Soto to the plate now. Juan Soto. Now the one and one pitch. Strike two swinging. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Here's Joey Gallo now. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. And this will be fouled away. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Danny Santana. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. Shinsu Chu will follow here. He waits on deck. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 2-2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. So two away for the Rangers here in the sixth. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. A two and one count to the Rangers first baseman. Into the corner and slicing foul. Two out with the man at first. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. 
Good battle. Count remains full. The 3 2 one more time. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Throw over to first, but the runner's back easily. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Another payoff pitch. And he struck him out as this epic battle goes to the pitcher and the side is finally retired. Luis Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Luis. So striding forward now, Eric Thames. It was a walk in his last trip. Ball and two strikes, here it is. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. The catcher, so one gun in the inning now for the catcher, Kurt, Kurt Suzuki. Suzuki. One out, nobody on. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batting. Standing the in, Starlin Castro. Starling. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count is even a 2 and 2 to Starlin Castro. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. 3 and 2 with two away. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Payoff pitch one more time. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three the inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Misses ball two. Two and two. Now Cabrera awaits the two-two fly ball heading for the alley. And this is going to find the gap. It's extra bases for Cabrera. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Now battle the first base. So now to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Here now the 2 2. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. In now Trey Turner. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Daniel Hudson will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Bottom of the inning now. Stepping in, Robinson Chirinos. 0 for 2 for him to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. And 
and a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. And this misses and Hudson goes to a full count now it's three and two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter. Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up. This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. The next three two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Coming to the plate now. Rupert now Odor. That, he doubled earlier play. in the game. One for okay. two to this point. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Stepping in now, Elvis Andrews. Hit out towards second. Kendricks got it. The second for one. Relay to Zimmerman, the double play to end the inning. Brett Martin will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 59. Digging in, Adam Eaton. He's two for four in the ballgame. The 1 1 home is in off the plate. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. I can't lose, Bull. Hit on the ground out to short. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Settling in now, Howie Kendrick. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. A dive, and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Here now is Juan Soto. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. And that misses two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And a clean base hit, so he gets off the schneid, as they say, and is now one for five in the game. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Eric Thames. Standing in now, Eric Thames. Thames behind one and two. Popped him up. Duffy will put this one away, and the side is retired. Hunter Strickland is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 16, Hunter. At the plate, Matt Duffy, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Danny Santana would be next. The three and one pitch. 
A shot down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Here's the one and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Jesse Chavez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping in, Kurt Suzuki. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. And even 2-2 two -two count to the Nationals catcher. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. The batter, Here's Starlin the Castro. Starlin Castro. The 1-1. One -one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batter. So coming the to the eight. plate as Dribble Cabrera. First two Cabrera. men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Pulled toward right center field. Santana will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Sean Doolittle, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Number 63. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now to the plate, Shin Su Chu. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now at the plate, Ronald Guzman. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The three and one pitch. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now batting, now batting, Robinson Chirinos. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The 1-1 one -one is taken for ball two. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And another foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Hit hard to third. Throw on to first is going to be in time. And the Nationals have come in here and finished off a three-game sweep as this one is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Eight to four, the final this afternoon. Washington wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Austin Voss gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. 
Corey Kluber struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals, eight runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Rangers, four runs on six hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.